The Advanced Rider course starts tomorrow. I've been putting the foot pegs off due to lack of confidence in my own welding skills and my own grinding skills. But uh, decided just do it. Now I'm going to go ahead, mark them off, make sure I can align them correctly once I cut the uh, inch to an inch and an eighth out of them. And then I'm going to bevel it and start welding, and I'll see how it turns out. Got the DeWalt 4011. It's going to be the primary grinder I'm going to be using for all my stuff. Got a couple of different blades. I've got this one from Shopsmith here. Uh, they're all going to be four and a half. So this particular one is their thin cut. It's supposed to be good for all metal, stainless, and everything. And it is a .040 in thickness. This would be a lot nicer for finding the angle of where I'm going to need to cut it and measuring this out if I was able to leave the center stand on. But with the center stand being bolted to the foot pegs I'm gonna have to take it all off in one piece so I'm gonna have to leave the bike at the angle here on the kickstand which is not what I'd really like to do I'd like to better leave it on the center stand but that's just not gonna be happening today All right, guys. Got a straight line across the top of the two mounting holes. Scribed that. Measured up from there an eighth of an inch. Scribed that line. And then keeping it as level as my EYE ball gauges will let me, I scribed another line across the top. As it measures out, the distance between those is going to be about an inch and a sixteenth once you get it flat and then add in the kerf of the cutting blade on the DeWalt it'll probably be about an inch and an eighth total height removed from the pegs hey guys here is the clamp I made to hold the foot pegs while I'm cutting. Just to make it a little bit easier to get straight lines with it, using a grinder. The uh, first time I've used a grinder to cut metal this thick, so I wanna make sure they stay good and still while I'm cutting them.
Got, uh, got them both tack welded up. Got uh, a couple things left to do. I'm gonna go out and put them on the bike, make sure that they fit and they feel good on my boots. Then I'm going to come back in and wire wheel them both all, all the paint off them and then weld them up, put a little bevel in it, weld them up, and I'll shot coat it. But You guys look my left leg is the stock height my right leg here is the adjusted height got done with the advanced riders course today the pegs worked the pegs worked out great I'm glad I did it myself you know I get to now say hey you know I cut and welded my own pegs which you know it's not that big a deal but it's nice to be able to say that you did it yourself you know it's built not bought I would suggest to anyone over the at the height of six foot or over to go ahead and either lower and you know cut their pegs and lower them or buy lowered ones if you want to spend the money on that or you don't have a welder handy or something but just remember though that for the price of you know two sets of foot pegs you can buy a welder so think about that aspect of I mean, you have that tool for the rest of your life if you have space to store it i guess would be the big issue um I got a couple more uh, pictures that I'll tack on to the end here of what they look like after they're put on and I've been using them for a day. If you guys liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, do me a favor, do two things for me if you didn't like the video. Either give me a thumbs down if you really didn't like it or just don't give me a thumbs up at all if it's somewhere in the middle. But tell me why you didn't like it, either in the comments below or send me a PM. Also, if you have any questions about the process, about how I did it, do me a favor, put it down in the comments and or send it to me on a PM and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks.